of thesis and antithesis, not unlike Freitag's triangle of rising action, climax, and fiction. And I'm only saying this because I know you got an old university here. And also in this internet age, anybody can write anything they want. There's always the chance that one of you out there might have come to this show tonight, not to rock your face off, but rather just to write a review of it. And if you are that individual, I want you to know that we are educated rednecks and therefore dangerous men. Okay, that's the like a trick leaf. Is it right? Is that right? Talk about ya! Talk about ya ho! Talk about sick hail! You see how easy that shit is? Be careful! I got 30,000 hippies at crop ready to yell at. That's how easy it is. <laughs> I ain't spy, I ain't spy, right? <laughs>
up. From the other side of the Appalachian Mountains. I'm from the Tennessee side, he's from the North Carolina side. This is Tim Carter playing the banjo, y'all. You ready to play some banjo, Blue Tim? He says he's ready. Are you ready for this man to play some banjo? I want you to testify, my brother. I want you to take the truth. As it were, I want you to lay the truth down. I want you to strap the truth on. And I want you to hold on to the unchanging neck of the banjo, my brother. Make it manifest. Make it manifest. Yes. It said, looking like a cross between Thorin from Lord of the Rings 
and that guy who sits on the park bench in front of the church asking little kids if they're going to eat the rest of that pucka pie. <laughs> it's hippie Joe Hamas on the mandolin, y'all. beards and college kids are wearing either. No. I'm talking about a proper Victorian Nelson victory to battle at your father, some kind of like Karl Marx meets Charles Darwin meets Aristotle meets Socrates meets Johannes Brahms in a no hold far tag team grudge match with Rasputin. Check the base name buyers on the base, y'all. No, what I'm sure that this entire congregation gathered here tonight in this formerly religious nation would also like to know is what type of song do you want to play right now? Simple. I always want to play a killing song. Yeah. Brother Jake wants to play a killing song. That's right. He's feeling bloody. That's right. So what kind of song do you want to hear? That's good. That's good. Because that's what we're going to do. So it's good that we're on the same page. <laughs> I mean, because, you know, after about 1,300 shows, I mean, doing this show for me now is honestly very much like sex. And what I mean by that is it's like it's this long, arduous experience that just goes on and on and on. And just, just when you think you're finally about to get somewhere, it's like nothing. <laughs> no, no, what I, what I mean, actually, is it, it's a lot like sex for us because, you know, it, it's better if you enjoy it, but... Must be kind of like sex for y'all too, because you had to pay at the door to get in. And, and... Hey! hey, I'm just trying to be British, man. I, I've been learning from you guys. That if you want, to, oh, if you want to tell somebody you love them in Britain, right? You got to start insulting them, right? Y'all have a terminology for this: taking the pee out of them or something like that. Wish somebody could do that to me right now. This cheap fake champagne is starting to get past my kidneys. And we'll try that a little bit more as the night goes on. <laughs> Not in the whiskey, man. Now, I, I understand, like, you know, wanting to water it down, but, whoa, I'm a little dehydrated right now. Some chafing might occur. Here, this right here is the greatest killing song ever written we're going to play for you right now. And if you do not agree this is the greatest killing song ever written, that's okay. You can have your opinion, but, but you're wrong. In populism, are not necessary. This is the real life. This is just fantasy. I'm in a landslide. No escape from reality. Open your eyes. Look up to the skies and see.
Maybe it was Vladimir Putin. Easy go, easy go, will you let me go? Let me go! Thank you. 